look like you and me All for one to save humanity Fighting off the evil virus entities It's now or never Be for long The darkness will arrive Transforming all humans in virus like demons Aliens Enemies of the whole free world Destroyers of the planet It's all over now, Astra. Everything's gonna be just like it was before. I promise you, girl, we'll be back at work in the circus in no time. Huh? No, what's happening? Come on, Astra, wake up! I don't understand! Rodan! Maybe we can save her. We saw the virus leave her body. I thought she would pull through! It's just that the viruses are dangerous to every living creature, even to something as powerful as Astra. <laughs> we have to do what's right. Rodan, we have to leave! The viruses could attack again! Astra was the best friend I had, and she deserves a proper burial. Mm hmm Then please let me give you a hand. I could use the help. Astra certainly was a beautiful tiger. Yeah, it's weird how the virus just evaporated. It must have sensed that Astra was going to die, so it left to find a new host. The grave is ready. I'm sorry, son. But you must let go of Astra. All this was for nothing. <gasps> I became an antivirus like we had planned, but in the end, look at what just happened. The virus escaped to infect someone else's body, and Astra's dead. You've got to just walk away. You're not the only one who's lost someone they love to these viruses, Rodan. Mm. David, don't you see you're making things worse? Please calm down. This is a terrible time for Rodan. Can't you see that? I'm sorry, but we're in the middle of a war right now. All of us have watched friends and loved ones fall to the viruses. Some of us are in a position to do something about it. That's the positive way to look at it. Huh? Each of us has had to give up something we cherish, but it's been worth it because now we can make sure the same terrible things that happen to us won't happen to anyone else. Let's find the viruses that did this to Astra and take care of them. No news from my viruses. This means they've entered Avalonia. They certainly could have reached the Cryptus by now. Soon they will pollute that wretched oasis and the planet will suffer yet another terrible defeat. Every time we steal another Cryptus, the conditions on Earth become more unbearable. The end draws near for them with each passing day. These bloodthirsty Cretans are just as vicious as Sederno. Maybe there's something I can do to avoid all this. Perhaps I could slow my viruses down in some way. Maybe I could sabotage the communication system. But then again, maybe... maybe... Is something worrying you, General? You seem lost in thought. Formulating a plan, are we? I'm just anxious to hear back from my viruses. Saterno is counting on that second cryptus. I wouldn't want to be in your place if he doesn't get it, Erpagon. <laughs> I have to find a way to defeat my own viruses. But if I'm found out, I'm finished. The forest is dense. We'll have to cut these. Watch your step now. What do you make of that sound? Sounds like rustling leaves. I'm pretty sure that sound was coming from over there. 
We've seen some unusual plants in this oasis, but I wouldn't have expected giant mushrooms. The caps must be a meter wide. I've never seen anything like them before. We need to be careful. They could be poisonous. Let's move out. Huh. I think I discovered where the noise came from, guys. You know, I've never been a zoologist, but poisonous mountain goats? I think I'm beginning to understand. All the plants and animals that live in this oasis grow to an enormous size. Those eagles I see flying around up there are the size of a small airplane. Hmm. Edward, what do you think? It's possible that these plants and animals have absorbed energy emitted from the heart of the oasis. Okay, so now what? Let's just enjoy this splendor for a while, okay? Hmm? That's it! Come, everyone! Look! You think we discovered the heart of the oasis before they have? Yes, David. Now, this redwood, it's ancient. You think they're, they're really after a tree? We're in a forest, it makes sense to me. Well, the heart of the forest has to be something that symbolizes its majesty. Just like the Desert Rose did for Rodinia. I believe that what the viruses are after may be inside this giant redwood. Everyone, come look! A seedling with one ripe fruit. What's it mean? Neela is right. This plant is the heart of the oasis. We have to prevent the viruses from stealing it or the repercussions could mean the end of this oasis. Like we saw in Rodinia! Those viruses can't be too far behind. If we were able to find this redwood tree, then so can they. There are no humans in sight. We can proceed undetected. Are you ready? I believe the tiger must have been leading us to this spot. Forget the tigress, she served her purpose. David had an excellent idea. The viruses won't be expecting a trap. We can just leave it up to the kids to defend the redwood, Neela. But I would rather we had a less dangerous alternative. Mm-hmm. But listen, Edward, I'm worried. All right, everybody, it's showtime. The viruses are approaching. Ready up here. Ready. I'm ready. Astra, your death will be avenged. The cryptus is in the trunk. Get it. Cryptus? So that's what they call it. Fascinating. Mm. Be careful. The cryptus will recognize an intruder and defend itself. We won't be able to touch it. The cryptus in Rodinia was booby-trapped too. What should we do? We'll take the whole redwood. My radioactive gas will kill the tree and we can uproot it. Good idea. Destroy this tree. Sederna would be pleased by this. <sighs> Yes, in just a few minutes, the tree and everything in it will die. Let's do it! The mutants! It's a trap! Ah! Infection! Blasted mutants. It looks like you'll have to go through me. And me. So be it, mutants. We have to hold our position at any cost. It's the only way we can beat them. They don't stand a chance against us. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. 
Morphous energy! My electromagnetic waves will sweep you away like specks of dust. We'll see about that! Morphous reflector! That the best you can do? Take this! Rush! My power is draining. I have to get away. We can't surrender now. We're too close. And this one is for Astra. Uh... Rax, what are you doing? Hold your position. You're putting us all in danger. <sighs> the others are fine without me. Elester! Huh? You'll pay for what you did to Astra. Ooh. Huh? But uh... The human wasn't expecting me to split into two beings. I can't fight the two of them. <coughs> Mustn't breathe this gas. <coughs> Rax, no! <coughs> Rax, are you okay? The Redwood is vulnerable now. Let's finish the job. Uh, huh? Until Rax and Arges get back, we'll have to fight without them. Easier said than done. We're outnumbered. There's no way that just the three of us can guard this tree. We shouldn't even try. This is bad, guys. Real bad. That's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, mutants. <sighs> can't take much more of this! I have to know what's happening with my viruses. I can try to connect with them telepathically. Perfect. I'm inside the mind of Egorex. No, Egorex, don't do it! Morphous! What's happening? My powers are weakening! Diamond! Oh! 